This is the case of Norma Jones versus Alan Jones. Plaintiff, you may begin. Your Honor, I'm suing the defendant, my mom, for wrongful eviction. She kicked me out of the house. Let me get this straight. You're suing your own mother for kicking you out of her house. Mrs. Jones, is this true? Your Honor, I love my son very much. But this was the only way I could think to help him. You see... Help me? All you're doing is hurting me. She either needs to let me move back in with her or pay me to live somewhere else. Order. Mrs. Jones, you were saying, how exactly is kicking him out helping him? As hard as this is for me, he has to learn how to stand on his own two feet. You see, for the past 34 years, I've taken care of everything for him. All Alan does is stay home and play video games. He doesn't even clean up after himself, so I have to do it for him. I've pleaded with him to get a job or to go to school so that he could make something of himself. But no matter how much I've tried, He's never been interested in any sort of work. And I'm not rich. I don't make very much money. I've had to beg him to help me pay rent or help with the bills. But instead, he spent thousands of dollars on my credit card without even contributing a dime. And so you see, if I just let it continue, he would never learn the importance of hard work. He would only be relying on me. So I had to do the hardest thing that I have ever done. I kicked him out of the house. That is ridiculous. I'm your son. It's your responsibility to take care of me. All right, settle down. Mr. Jones, you've never paid any rent or contributed toward any bills? Well, no. Okay, then you don't have any legal right as a tenant. Court rules in favor of the defendant. You're a grown man, Mr. Jones. I suggest that you act like it. Your mother's trying to teach you a good lesson. Wait, what? No! Why do you hate me so much? Oh, honey, please. I love you. I'm just trying to teach you the value of hard work. Whatever. I don't need you. I'll figure it out on my own. You are seriously the worst mom in the world. Alan, please. Alan storms out, leaving his mom there heartbroken, questioning if she's made the right decision. Without any money or his mom to support him, Alan has no choice but to finally apply for a job. It doesn't take him long to get hired and start working at a new company. He eventually gets his own place and begins to become more independent. Without his mom around to do everything for him, he realizes he can't go back to his old ways, so he starts to clean up after himself and even learns how to pay his own bills. It's a lot more responsibility than he thought, but he now realizes just how much his mom had been doing for him 
and begins to see that she was right. A few months pass, and then one day, Alan decides to go pay his mom a visit. Alan. Hi, Mom. I actually was coming to see if you'd let me move back in. Oh. Um. I, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, I, I just came by to say I'm sorry. And to thank you for loving me enough to show me the value of hard work. <sighs> I am so happy to hear you say that. All this time, I had been wondering if I made the right decision. You did, Mom. And I'm so thankful. Oh, here, I, I almost forgot. What is this? Just my way of saying thank you for being the best mom in the world, taking care of me all those years. I know it's not much, but there's a lot more coming. Oh, Alan. I love you so much. I love you too. Hey, Darman fam, make sure to subscribe to my channels and check out this next video. I know you're gonna love it. He only gave me $300. That's why I should have 100% custody. Oh, I'm gonna stay with daddy too. Shh. I may not make a lot of money, but that does not make me a bad father. You can't pay bills with love. No, Water. no, please.